Don't move to Nashville. Don't move to Nashville. I repeat, don't move to Nashville. Unless you're prepared to fall through the cracks. See, there's only a few people that make it in this business of music. Well, there's more than a few, but there's only a couple hundred singers that make a comfortable living, that make it to radio. And there are thousands, thousands of singers that come to Nashville. What happens to the rest of the thousands of people? They fall through the cracks. Like I said, don't come to Nashville unless you're prepared to fall through the cracks. What do I mean, fall through the cracks? I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm, thank you. When your money runs out, when you're 2000 when you're 5000 when you're 10000 when you're 50000 runs out, when your $100,000 runs out from you acting all cool for a couple years, two years, four years, five years, six years, ten years, it might be three months. You're going to go where? You're going to fall through the cracks. Yeah, and so what, what does that mean? Well, you're at, you end up working at Wendy's ha uh, hamburger stand. Or you end up uh, being some secretary. Or you end up hanging drywall. Or you end up as a janitor. Or you end up working at uh, Bridgestone Tires, making tires or uh, installing tires on uh, cars. That's a far cry from being a musician. Or you end up in some smoky honky-tonk playing cover songs. Not your song. They don't want to hear your songs. They don't know your songs. You, you got to be crazy. They don't want to hear your songs. Oh, maybe some guy that's drunk out on the sidewalk that's about ready to pass out might want to hear your songs. If you got money, they want to hear your songs. And the business, they might want to make your records and say you're good. They might not even say you're good, but they might entertain you and record your songs. But don't bank on it. That's the point. Don't move to Nashville unless you're prepared to fall through the cracks. Most people fall through the cracks. I've seen them. Fortunately, I didn't bet the farm. So, even though... I kind of fell through the cracks. I didn't have far to fall because I knew it was a tightrope walk. And uh, I didn't go too far out on the tightrope, you know what I mean? And that might, might be what it takes. But uh, a lot of people that, that go out on the tightrope fall. And they get so damn depressed, they start drinking, they start drugging, they start sexing, whatever, selling themselves. Uh, you know, it's it's not it's not a, what it's all what it's cracked up to be. Everybody thinks if they come to the to Nashville, they move to Nashville, they're going to be some successful person. You know, and the business. You're going to be some published writer. Uh, you know, you're going to get paid to write songs all day, or you're going to you're going to end up being on the Grand Ole Opry, and you're going to have the rhinestones suit, and you're going to be like Carrie Underwood and Taylor Swift, and uh, you know everything's going to be all like bells and whistles and roses. Well, don't happen. Don't happen. Well, it happens to a few people, but most people fail. They fall through the cracks, and and um, you know, I just want you to be aware of that before you move to Nashville. 
keep in mind, don't move to Nashville unless you're prepared to fall through the cracks. If you're prepared to fall through the cracks, do whatever it takes. Sit there and, uh, you know, stand in line, bow down to the uh, people that are successful and kind of pet people on the butt, if you know what I mean, or uh, do more than that. You know, play this this game of sitting around and jerking everybody's chain, politicking or whatever. You know, knock yourself out. But I don't do that crap very well. And so, uh, whatever. I'm just trying to be true to myself. I want you to be true to yourself and your work. You can be a star wherever you are. If you're going to be here... You gotta, you gotta be here with all your heart and soul, or else uh, don't come. And if you could, and if you do come, better be prepared to uh, grovel at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> grovel at the bottom. Paint houses and cut grass, or do whatever it takes. So uh, just keep that in mind. In my situation, everybody's situation is different. But in my situation, I have, after 10 years, created my own path. And I don't know anybody else that's done it like I have. I don't know of any other songwriter that's done what I've done as a, as a singer-songwriter. Don't know anyone. Granted, I don't go looking all day long for people that have done what I do, but I've taken the online songwriter route. And you can too. There's other routes, but uh, this is the route I've taken. And I've got somewhere upwards of 550 videos on YouTube. And... um, most most of those videos are are songs, original songs that I have written, and um, I'm thankful now to have recorded some great albums here in Nashville because there's some great studio musicians. But um, you know it costs me, and they haven't taken off to become successful. But they're successful in my mind, and that's what matters. So, you know, over 10 years or whatever, 15 years, my website's got a million views and my YouTube channel has got close to 800,000 views. But, you know, that's not, that's not anything because you know how much money I've made? Zero, zero, zero. I've spent thirty, forty thousand dollars 40000 That's just on the music, not to mention... The cost of living. So if you're going to move to Nashville, you better be prepared to fall through the cracks. Keep in mind, this goes for other people that think they're going to be all hot hot dogging it as a musician, too. I'm not talking just singers and songwriters, but, but players. You know, there's a few more of those out there. Because there's like five people, six people for every one artist that makes it. You follow me? There's one artist, like one Blake Shelton, but he's surrounded by five musicians. You see what I'm saying? And that, so the numbers can go from two, 200 people that are making a living, maybe even 100, to uh, 500, you know, that are successful as, as uh, traveling musicians. But there's a lot more musicians that come to Nashville that don't make it. So don't move to Nashville. It's not like Nashville Star or uh, the movie 
the television show, you're going to end up on the television show and become world famous because it probably ain't going to happen. You might want to think of going to Las Vegas instead and throwing your inheritance and your life savings on a crap table because that's what you might end up with is a pile of crap. You know? I'm just I'm just I'm just laying the truth on you. So don't move to Nashville, people. Everybody thinks Nashville's the greatest place in the world, and it does have its good qualities. But you better be prepared to sit in the church too. Because uh everybody wears a cross. If you don't have a cross that's about eight inches on your chest, you're not gonna fit in. I'm just saying. I'm just calling a spade a spade. But, you know, every now and then somebody makes it through. And they do become successful. So just just keep the reality in mind. There's a lot of ways that you can be a star in this world. A lot of ways. You can sit right in your own hometown. Stay with your family and your parents and your brother and sister. Whatever. You know. You can be a local star and be a damn good one and a big star. But just because you're a big fish in a small pond doesn't mean you're going to be a big fish in a big pond. Just keep all that in mind, my friends. My website is patryleys.com. You might want to check out my world. I've been blogging for 10 years, 15 years. P-A-T-R-I-L-E-Y, like the basketball coach. Pat Riley, with an S on the end, patrileys.com. And my YouTube channel, if you want to check out some of my action, is P-A-T-R-I-L-E-Y-S, Pat Riley's. You just type in Pat Riley's in YouTube, and it'll take you to my channel. I got playlists on there, all kinds of crazy stuff, including this video. <laughs> Okay, one other thing. You might think, well, you know, I don't want to be a singer. <clears throat> I don't want to be a, a Nashville star. You know why? Because, well, I know I'm not a uh, perfect 10 and I don't look like uh, Faith Hill or Carrie Underwood or, or uh, Blake Shelton. Uh, I know I'm not a perfect 10. I, I, I'm 275 pounds and uh, I'm a big boy is what I am. But uh, Or whatever, you know. Um, I'm going to be a songwriter is what I'm going to. So I'm a songwriter. Or you're older or whatever. You're a songwriter. Well, let me tell you about songwriters. There's a hell of a lot of songwriters that come to Nashville. And there's only so many songwriters that make a living in Nashville. And if you come to Nashville, you might just as well be one of those singers, songwriters that end up sleeping in a cardboard box after two years or standing in line at the homeless shelter. Right? Right. Or sleeping in the back of your van. Trust me, I know this story, my friends. You know, there's only so many spots for songwriters in Nashville. There's a couple hundred that make a living, just kind of like entertainers. Each record company has 20 songwriters or so. I mean, I don't know this for a fact, but pretty much I know what's going on. Each publishing company, there's probably five major labels. There's 10, maybe, and there's... 10 publishers that are movers and shakers, or 20, and each of those have 10 songwriters. You know how many songwriters there are in this country? Thousands. And there's only maybe 400, 500 people that make money in this business, make real money. If you want to do it part-time because you have a construction company, you know, hey, knock yourself out, come on. Or if you're an attorney and you like always dreamed about being a star and you want to practice your attorney work because you're still in debt after going through college for so many years, knock yourself out. You know, or you just 
have nowhere else to go but to follow this little dream you have, well, hey, come on. But you be better be prepared to fail. You better be prepared to fall through the cracks. It's not like being a professional football player where there's thousands of professional football players and there's teams. There's one team in Nashville. One team of professionals that make a living. And there's about 500 of them. And that's it. And there are thousands, 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 thousands. I would guesstimate... <laughs> I'll guesstimate that every... <laughs> I don't know, but let me just say there are tens of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people that wanted to become movers and shakers in the music business that have fallen through the cracks. Tens of thousands that have fallen through the cracks and blew their wad. Well, I'm just turning over this little leaf that you might think is gold to say that it shines, yeah, in the sun, but it ain't gold. It's fool's gold. Nashville don't want to promote this. The TV show don't want to promote this message. Nobody wants to promote this. The churches in Nashville don't want to promote this message. Nobody wants to promote this message except me, Island Mountain Pat. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. I don't want you to fall through the cracks. I want you to be... I want you to be healthy and happy and productive. Be a star where you are. Yeah, be a star where you are. If you want to come, come, come to Nashville, visit, you know, play your hand, you know, go come up on the stage at, at Bluebird Cafe, knock yourself out. But you better have all your ducks in a row. You know, I kind of did, so I'm still afloat. I had... I had some some money and I I was pretty hardcore. And I'm still hardcore in my own way. And I hope you get a chance to check out my music, share it, share it on your Facebook page because uh it's through this underground movement that that we can um get ahead and and get our word out, and get our music out, get our message out. If you have a message you want to send to the world, we need to work together because the big record companies aren't going to do it. They aren't going to do it. You know, for a limited number of people, they let the message out. But then they decide what message that's going to be. So if you got some, you want to help change the world message, forget it. Probably ain't going to happen through music. Probably ain't going to happen through music because they select what you're going to sing. And it better be about like sitting on the back of a truck and uh, drinking beer, you know, by a bonfire. Because the music these days is basically like advertisements for the alcohol industry and the military. So if that's what you want to, uh, you know, constantly do, you know, knock yourself out. I want people to be, want people to be happy. And healthy, productive, and peaceful, most mostly. So thanks for listening to me rant and express myself. Like I said, share my stuff on your Facebook page. I'd be happy to share your stuff. If it's good enough. No. <laughs> oh, no, I'll try to help you out, man. If you want to send me some uh, a video, you know, go for it. You know, so you connect... Connect to me uh, on Facebook. Send me some stuff. And if I can help you, I know some people that, that are making a living in the business as musicians and all that. Even I've met Blake Shelton a couple times. You know, he's got my music. But, hey, uh, I'm just just saying, um, it, ain't, it ain't all, uh, you know, box of chocolates here. It's not a box of chocolate cherries. It's tough. So anyway, all right, take good care.
And most of all, peace and love. See ya.